Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain of Steve's, and today, chums, I'm hitting up No Man's Sky. We're going to press on with the Artemis quest line. Hopefully, we're going to be creating the Mind Arc in this episode, and then we're going to have probably a penultimate choice: Do we choose to upload Artemis to a simulation, or do we just let them be and release their soul into the atmosphere? Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully that's all to come, people. Stay locked in. Hopefully that's going to be exciting for you to stick around. Okay. Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys, in the view of us, I'm going to be going on a little mini jaunt. Yes, we've got to tell Apollo what happened to Artemis. Let's see we go. Tell Apollo about the portal and Artemis. Use the Hollow Tournament to contact Apollo. Okay, brilliant. Right, well, let's go do that then. Where's my... There's my ship. Okay, cool, yeah. Let's fly on out then. Now that I've found my ship, which was right next to me. And let's go and find this Hollow Terminus, which is nowhere near me. If I had trouble finding my ship, this Hollow Terminus might be quite elusive. So here we go. Let's um, scan the old system then, shall we? Hopefully that's the way we're going to find it. Oh! Oh, we got an icon. We got an icon. We got an icon. There it is. There's the icon. Let's go to the icon. It looks like some sort of eclipse or tune-in fork. I can't really make out what that is supposed to be exactly. I mean, it could be a whole freaking repertoire of things, couldn't it, really? Let's face it. Right, let's fly on down then. Yeah, barrel roll. Heck yes. Did I pass my pilot's license yesterday? Oh, here we go. There's the hollow terminus. I'm going to say yes, I did pass my my pilot's license. I mean, that was freaking awesome, the way I located that. Oh, watch out, pylons. Oh, that's going to sting. That's an insurance claim, isn't it? Right, well, let's jump on out of the old ship there, people. Boom! I've arrived, Dakota. I know. Freaking majestical. Right, OK, let's see if we can fly all the way up there, shall we? Dun, 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 and dun, 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 and dun, 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 and rookie pack, rookie pack. And we've medicated it. Nice. Let's go and hit this one up then. Chicka boom boom, chicka pow pow. Warning. Network compromised. Warning. Manual override required. I'm going to require some manual overriding. Here we go. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and error. Perform manual override. I told you I was going to do it. There we are. The warning messages cease. Some new frequencies shimmer into being. Brilliant. Oh, I don't get to choose which one I choose. No? It said sig it said multiples. Oh, hold on. Is there multiples there? Hold on. Hello, hello. It's null. I wanted Apollo. Okay. Well, hello there, null. Null entry. You are not alone. Well, I know that. I'm standing by you, mate. Light bulb head. Tell me. What's the point of living if we know that life will finish? Um, well, I believe in Einstein's theory that energy never ceases to exist. So maybe we just transmute into something else. Suggest does not erase life. Suggest we improve the lives of others. I'm going to say that one then, because Einstein's theory and all. But it does. All those moments gone. Everything that came before, meaningless. I don't know about that, my friend. Yeah, I drowned once. I had a very strange experience, has to be said. Still don't know whether it was chemical or spiritual. Right, there we go. I know, you traveller. I know where you have been. I know where you're going. Has he got... Is he, is he the guy in the black helicopters and vans that follow me around everywhere? I don't know. Okay, cool. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more? After a fashion... What would you do then, I wonder? Hmm. Say you would do it? Say you would need to know more. Go on, yeah? There you go. A sceptic. Well, Artemis is already dead. Your journey to save them has failed. What do you have to lose? The blood of Artemis is data. The heart is a glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. Right. We require the mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I don't think this is a good idea. You know, I've seen a lot of zombie movies. You know, have you ever seen Pet Cemetery with Stephen King? Yeah, it goes horribly wrong. I'm reactivating Artemis's frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the mind arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. I'm going to refuse. I don't want it. I'm not going to save him. 
I refuse, uncertain of the stranger's motives. They tell me to return when I'm ready. Oh, bulls. OK, well, I guess we're going to have to accept it then. Sweet. All right, fine. Yeah, I go. Accept. Cool. I accept not knowing who this stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. But if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I'll take it. I'm not sticking him in the mind arc. OK. OK, we've got the mind arc and we've got a soul engine. OK. All right, Artie. Hello, mate. Are you, Gazert? Are you? Are you? Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind up before I can help them further. OK, right. Well, I'm in creative mode still, so I should just be able to create this thing almost immediately, I would imagine. But I've got quite a lot of frickin' stuff I don't need inside of my exosuit. Hold on, I upgraded. I've got loads of frickin' room. OK, right, mind arc. Here we go. I'm going to create that then. Chikapow. That's created. I would also create the soul engine. There we are! We're done. Now let's go talk to good old Artemis, and I suppose. Hello, Artemis. Yeah, hold on. I I've just created it. I should be able to talk to you, like, forever and all that sort of stuff. OK, bring the mind arc to Artemis, return to the hollow terminus, and speak to Artemis. Well, there's Artemis. I'm at a hollow terminus. I just spoke to him and he said the same shite. Okay, maybe I was too quick. Artemis repeats, oh, fudging heck. Maybe I've got to go to another freaking thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, look, I've got to go to another hollow terminus for no freaking reason. Okay, all right, fine. Um, we'll go do that then. Just because the game told me to. All right, here we go. Darn iteration is screwy. Talk to the skies then, people. All right, and we fly to the next tune-in fork, Eclipse-type icon. There we go. It's just over here. It's not far. Fudging heck. They're in really close proximity. I'm surprised we don't get feedback or something. You know? You know, like when you put two mics in the same room and you get all that horrible sort of noise. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, I could do the uh, Mission Impossible music again, couldn't I? But I'm not going to. Here we go. I was trying to think of the James Bond music, but it couldn't come to mind. There we are, we've arrived, Dakota. Right, well, let's go dial up good old Artemis. Chikapow! Yes, okay, yep, yep, yep. Attuned to Artemis, there we go. Chikapow, pow, chikaboom, boom. Bring him in. I say him. I mean, it could be a she, couldn't it? I mean, a lot of people call Artemis a she because of the Greek mythology. And if you look at their actual frame and body and posture, it, 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 you could kind of say it might be a her. Freaking tall, though, look. Then again, maybe that's her race. Who knows? Anyway, let's interact. I digress. Because that comfort Artemis. Okay. I attempt to comfort Artemis, tell him that everything would be all right. They turn to me with a wild look of panic, clearly not expecting my voice. Who is that? Who? I identify myself. I tell Artemis I'm their friend, and I could not find them within the portal, but I have found a way to restore them. I didn't I didn't think you'd come back. You never gave up, did you? All these years. Ask Artemis what they mean. I've I've been here for twenty years waiting for you. Oh bless them. You were going to find my star chart, weren't? Claim they'll be safe soon. Hmm. Who is that? Who? Who's there? Artemis repeats their words again. I can conversation all but forgotten. They stare at me, their eyes pained, their mind trapped in an endless loop. They appear to have spent 20 years in this pseudo-death, haunted by loneliness and fear. If the stranger's device works, perhaps I can help. Artemis, move on. I, I would just like to tell Artemis the freaking truth. That they've, you know, they're in limbo. or in some sort of death sequence. And ask them! Whether they want to be put into a mind arc. You know what I mean? Okay, well, that seems to be the only option we've got at the moment. I activate the mind arc. I don't know what to expect. Some of the light and fury, some of the carfis, uh, where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it's not to be. One moment I see the hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me the blueprints beckons me over to their signals still active. Ah, oh, hello there, Null. What have you just gone and done with this horrific sort of thing? Ah! Fudging heck! I nearly got stabbed by that thing! Alright, cool. Hello, mate. 
a dangerous freaking communications device. Travellers are a dream, an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it, you had it, Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend. Walk in these worlds yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not of the glass, or of the aerons, or the prognators. It is the final act, the decision to abandon those we need you. Okay. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveller. Your friends await you, wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. I don't want to put him in the mind arc. I'm fairly sure you got to... I don't know. This is a bit strange. I don't really want to put them in the simulation or in the mind arc. I wanted to tell Artemis the truth. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Fine. Let's head on up to the old space anomaly then. I was sure that that was a decision. To, maybe it's a decision that's going to come soon. Because on my actual um, PlayStation save, that's exactly what I did do. I put them inside the simulation. The simulation, from Artemis's description, is quite an interesting sort of place. But there are multiple worlds for Artemis to explore inside of the simulation that they get put into. On my PlayStation save, is the way they describe it, as being bountiful, lovely planets everywhere. Unlike this simulation, because they say multiple planets, unlike that of Light No Fire, which some people have speculated could be the case. Yeah, wouldn't it be interesting if we get into Light No Fire and maybe the king of that realm is Artemis? That'd be pretty cool. Ah, who put that there? Okay, right, fine. i go this way. Actually, we'll just fly up here. Meow! Hello there, Nada! Brilliant, eh? Right, I'm just going to chat to Nada. Yeah, I took a little break there just to grab a cup of tea. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, talk to Nada. Hello there, Nada. Friend, entity. Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete, not fading. Nada's visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. I'll uh, reveal the mind arc. I tell Nada about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Arc. It glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I never thought to see Traveller's soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain. Disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Ask why. Artemis Echo will never have a body again. Will never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not a machine. It's something living. A refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to the machine, to a sub-simulation where they will live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. So you've decided. Go on, speak with Polo, Traveller. They will help you calibrate the machine, no matter what your decision. Okay. Whatever you do, I'm proud of your compassion. You are Traveller Friend. Okay, so this is where I get to choose to put them in a simulation where they can live out forever in this limbo, alone in loneliness and solitude, but in quite an awesome, bountiful, lush area of space. I don't know whether I'd want that for myself, you know? Okay, there we go. Let's talk to Specialist Polo then. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we, are, we will support you, no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is Nada's friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's go to the private terminal. So at this point, I would like to be able to tell Artemis exactly what's going on and ask Artemis what their decision is in their actual choice, you know? I don't really want to make this choice for Artemis, and I definitely don't want to put Artemis in this contraption. Let's just have a look to see if Artemis is actually already in this contraption, though. If you fly up through the rafters here and then look down, 
No, he's already in there. He's already freaking in there, people. So no matter what I decide, Artemis is already in the freaking tube. I haven't even interacted with it, but he's in the tube. All right, well, that, that sort of makes this decision feel rather lame. Okay, well, there we go. Let's interact with it then. Cool. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of, of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It's clearly tended to often. What well, is clearly tended to often, and with great love. I feel a whisper, Nada's faint hum, over the speaker as they commune with the machine. The words on the panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity, authorization detected, secondary simulation, five, right enabled. This relic is a simulation of the solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, just one solar system, so one solar system with a few planets. It will act as home for Artemis, should I wish it. Upload Artemis, allow Artemis to die. I would have liked to have had one last conversation with Artemis. To ask Artemis what they would like to do. It's a shame he can't upload him. And then if he chooses to, they just end the simulation. That'd be a thing, wouldn't it? Um, well, I've allowed Artemis to live on my PlayStation 5 save. So if this choice is has ramifications in the future, I'm going to allow them to die on this save. Even as I process my decision, Nada's hum takes on quite a new intensity. I speak and their voice replies, intelligible now. They talk gently and suggest I place the arc upon the terminal. I do so and I hear a whisper, a prayer. The arc begins to unfold, twisting from its centre, releasing the traveller's soul within. I witness the spark of blue light blaze within the air before me, which we just saw momentarily ago. It fades after a moment, and with it the last remnant of Artemis within this world leave. I hear Nada's voice over the speaker, intelligible now and reassuring. They tell me that what is done, well, tell me it is done. Artemis is at peace now. They suggest I do not dwell on these moments. They tell me that I did the right thing. Yeah, it's hard to know whether you did or didn't do the right thing. But then again, Nada did say this is not saving or helping Artemis. You know, it's a false, a false sort of heaven for them. I just can only but hope that with that little blue glow that we saw, rather than go to an artificial simulation, has gone on to be what I believe to be the afterlife in a roundabout way with the whole theory of Einstein's theory on energy, that energy never ceases to exist. So yeah, I'd rather that, that they get the natural heaven than an artificial one. Is what I'm thinking, people. That's my sort of thoughts and feelings on that one. Not that you really want to try and over-impressionate your own feelings into a video game. But there we are. Let's head on over here and let's head on back to the old shippity ship, shall we, people? In fact, people in the view of us, I did a video a little while ago on how I feel that No Man's Sky has actually got a spiritual vein to it. I put a video link up there. Go watch that. It's, it's very thought-provoking. It really, I find it is anyway. Yeah, it's probably why I like this game so much, to be honest. I mean, all the loose ends, all the unanswered questions. We have so many in our own lives, don't we, when you think about it? Right, -o. anyway, that, I think that's the Artemis quest line done, isn't it? Null the stranger. No, we have to return and talk to Apollo, by the looks of things. Of course, we spoke to Null, but we did not speak to Apollo. Apollo being Artemis' friend and cohort. There was trying to profit from finding him. I guess there's no profit to be had now. All right, well, let's do a scan and let's see if we can find ourselves a hollow terminus. Incoming message frequency. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there you are. Why couldn't you just communicate with me like this the whole time? Are you Kazert receiving? I am Apollo. I am. The hollow terminus is showing available again. Your signal. Thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. I'm going to explain. There we go. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, the vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realise the moments themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in the mind. It is just a dull, aching red. 
I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. You you saw it? You met the Atlas? The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as God. I never thought it was real. Never thought. Are you all right? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Uh, it was just a machine. Oh, yeah. I tell Apollo of a few things and the Atlas said, and how I spoke of the travellers and the sentinels as if they were protocols, not living things. The way they view us, the way it looked at me, I felt as life and death were just as fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you, and think there was something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of the Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Say the talk of money is absurd. It is in creative mode, which I'm in right now. Say more important things. There we go. I suggest we have bigger things to worry about. The Atlas felt hostile, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that's happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis's, Artemis's grave, and my encounter with the mysterious traveller Null, I suggest there is more going on here, an opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead. I don't... How? Who would? I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They they cared, they believed, and I... What's happened to them? Where they where, where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Tell them of your choice. I tell Apollo that Noel gave me the way to save an Artemis, to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is instantly excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explained that I couldn't do it. It would not... It wouldn't... Be, it would not have been life, just an empty existence of inside of a simulation. I had allowed Artemis to find peace in death. You did the right thing. You tried, whatever you might. Be feeling right now. Know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address, for what world is you of yours. Find a monolith, search for patterns in the data. These things are machines. We simply need to understand their code. Okay, looks like we're still pressing on with this then. I completely forgot how the Artemis quest line actually ends. And we found ourselves another little icon. It's somewhere around here. There it is! It's over there on the cold planet. We're on our way! Sweet! Well, I have arrived. There we go. Let's jump on out of the old shifty ship. Lovely jubbly. And we've made it over to a monolith. Here we go. Now, I have learned all messages. So let's... Uh, let, all, all words, apparently. But I've, I keep getting the odd word that pops up that I don't know. You can see there, it says learned nothing new. So I don't really know why I'm seeing words that I don't know in conversations. Unless I've added some new words in. Anyway, here we go. Let's read, read this. Anomaly! 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 Lovely. I see the stone of the monolith is immovable. Mute silver. And yet something lurks beneath. It is grey and yet not grey. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate portal. I came here just to locate a portal. Why couldn't it have just throw, blown me to a bloody portal? Alright, okay. Yeah. Is that a little dog creature chasing that little crab creature? It is! He tried to jump on him! I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I guess he's hungry. Is that the only thing you've got to eat? It doesn't look that tasty, has to be said. Anyway, let's go. Let's uh, not worry about the wildlife. There's an eyeball creature rolling around there. Look! What the flying fudge is that all about? Anyway, let's go. That's not dilly dally. And go, oh my god, this is like a, like an arrow away or something mental. Fly up through the atmosphere up where there's no friction, and hopefully I can get there that little bit quicker, people. There we go. Chim chimney, chim chim chiroo. There we go. We're on our way. I guess. Lovely job, lady. The portal is on the horizon, people. There we go. Sweet. We're nearly there. Yeah, it's on this planet full of strange wildlife. And we're flying down to a portal. I can see the portal just there. Oh, no, it's not. That's just a giant freaking rock. Okay, people. Well, when I'm flying in like this... Oh, it's actually, actually just taking me straight to the location. Sometimes it's the approximate. 
But I find if you get to exactly where the icon is and go into camera mode, sometimes you can spot what it is you're after. Just sort of circle for a moment to allow things to render in. And camera mode is usually your friend and locating where you need to go. Obviously, just don't do that in multiplayer because your ship will just carry on going. Anyway, let's fly on down here. I say fly, I'm walking. Here we are. Let's hit this up. Lovely jubbly. Oh, okay. Well, it's creative mode, so I can activate all of these. If you're not in creative mode, you're going to need the resources. All right, there we are. Lovely jubbly. Done, Dillion, done. Traveller, capture loot to Nabold. Anomaly event contained. What the flying fudge? What have I done? The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Request this planet's address. There we go. Chicka boom boom, chicka pow pow. I can give that to freaking Polo, mate. Heck yes, I can. Chicka boom. There we go. Done. All right. Hold on, what is... This is Visitation of Onset Mice. What the fudge? That's a cool name, isn't it? Okay. It's doing this... It's saying exactly the same thing. All right. Well, I, I guess that's all I need to do then, is just get the actual address. I don't need to fire it up. Okay. right out. Well, um, we're going to go to the Hollow Terminus and give this address to uh, good old Apollo. And he's going to emerge on this planet full of freaking little crab creatures... And rolling eyeball monsters. I'm fairly sure he would rather go to Butlins or something than this place. And t trust me, Butlins is like hell on earth. As long, well, actually, I had a good time at Butlins when I went for the 80s weekend. But I wouldn't go there for any other freaking reason. Heck no, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. Well, where's the Hollow Terminus then? You see, I've arrived at Kated where I think the Hollow Terminus should be. If I just hold on here just for a second or two. I'm going to the old camera mode. Let's see if I can spot the old hollow terminus, shall we? Because they're usually in a fairly close proximity. I might have to go up into the air a little bit. I have a bit of a better butchers with my eye peepers. But sometimes they, they put these things quite a distance away. It could be over a thousand years away. And then this technique doesn't overly work. But normally, people, normally it does. So, yeah, give it a try, because it is worth a try. Honestly, it could save you a little bit of time. All right. Well, there's a storm rolled in now, so that's, that's going to scupper me a little bit. OK, I'm just going to have to set it down and walk there. I will see you when I get there, people. See you when I get there. OK, chums, well, I've arrived located at the Hollow Terminus. Now, I'm just going to run to this little point here, this little save beacon. Now, when I hit up the save beacon, it's going to give me a navigational data. OK, now the navigational data is if you go over to these little pods over here and hit these up, you can use a navigational data to actually call your ship to you. So if your ship's miles away, like mine was, was like 700 views that way, I can call it to me. Saves me having to freaking run all the way back to it. There you go. Right. Well, let's fly on up to the old hollow terminus then and let's hopefully call in the last part of this mission. I'd imagine this is the last part of the mission. And then we can start on the Atlas quest line. And hopefully we can shun the Atlas, turn the back on that as well. Hominus terminus, well, hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources, la 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 la. Yeah, we get all, we, we get all this. Yep, yeah, there we are. Let's uh, tune to Apollo. I don't know why I need to talk to them again. I told them everything I needed to. Right. But check out this guy. Let's have a better look at him before this. I mean, this might be the last time we see him. So let's have a better look at his armatures. Because look at these. They almost look like little guns. And they're actually welded to him. He's got guns rather than hands. Which would tell me that his primary function is combat. And look how long his arms are compared to his legs. Now, I wouldn't say this guy is very good at running. But then would he need to? Because, you know, you can't outrun a gun. Heck no, you can't. Right, anyway, let's um, let's have a little chat with the guy. Hello there, Apollo. How are you, my friend? You know, dual-wielding pistols. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. I'll ask about the farm. 
Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit. I found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyways, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of that I saw within the portal. Of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of the face of the Atlas. Of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Give Apollo the glyphs. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this, so I called Null. They warn me to be careful. Okay. Oh, and now we've got to talk to Null, have we? I don't think we've even asked Null about Apollo, have we? Anyway, let's talk to him. Yeah, I, yeah, there you go. Press the wrong button. The two lost souls. One who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Says Null. Every sentient being has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did, once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now and I need your help. Oh, great. Another lost freaking traveller. The Atlas is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Okay. Uh, accept. Cool. There is an observatory nearby. It would lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There we will find the first secret, I'm sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified, it's in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering no matter the cost. Okay, I mean I've got so many bloody questions I would have liked to have asked, and I'm wondering why he didn't even ask why Null didn't ask what happened to Artemis. Did I upload the mind arc? Did I actually help? Didn't even ask. Very odd. Anyway, we're heading over to the observatory now, people. I completely forgot this was all a thing. I honestly thought the Artemis quest line ended at that tube that we just decided not to put Artemis in. Anyway, let's take to the skies and let's um head on over then. Oh. It looks like we've got to go back to the anomaly first. Okay, cool, yeah. All right, we'll do that then. Yeah, good old Nada. He really wants to know what's going on, doesn't he? All right, well, let's go on in then and let's go speak to Nada. All right, I'll see you up at Nada. All right, people? Cool, yeah. Okay, chums. Well, before I go and speak to good old Nada, now I've made the decision not to put Artemis inside of this thing. Is Artemis still inside? Of this thing. Let's have a look. Yes, Artemis is still in there. Fudging heck. All right, okay. Well, I mean, this is one of the other reasons I wanted to do this playthrough, just to see whether the decision had an effect on the actualization, whether Artemis is or isn't inside of that tube. It looks like they're forever present. I bet if you fired up a whole new game and didn't even start the Artemis quest line, I bet he's in there. I bet he is. Anyway, let's go and speak to Blinking Apollo. I mean, Nada. Hello there, Nada. How are you, mate? You are becoming more visible to Nada, traveller friend. Your eyes lend themselves to a small convergence. This makes Nada happy. OK, fine. Nada is not happy with other events. Portals are infected. Vectors for corruption. Artemis entity perished in the portals. Apollo entity will only spread corruption and danger. Are we, we're, we're using these portals all the time, mate. Yeah, anyway. Atlas Falsity watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may belong to the Atlas Falsity. Great danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Okay. There we are. Let's go and visit freaking Null at Chosen Observatory. So we've got Polo trying to find his way to that freaking ice barren land that I just gave him the portal coordinates to. And we've got Null that's sending me off to some observatories. Oh, for fuck's sake, just let me in my poxy ship. Where's the where's the thing gone? It's acting like my ship isn't there, people. I've I've lost the ability to get in my freaking ship. 
Okay. Well, that's weird. That's never happened before. Oh, and then suddenly I'm in. I wasn't even holding the button down then, people. That was freaking weird. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a simulation. I'm convinced of it. I'm already in a mind dark now. All right, okay. Um, okay. Fine, we're going down there. That was strange upon strange. Cool. So down to Knoll's Observatory. I wonder if it's going to take me to... The... Oh, it says approximate location. Great fun, people. Well, sometimes as you're flying in, sometimes you can spot it from this aerial view as well. I'm just going to fly in a little bit slower. And look, there we go. There it is there. It just took a little while to render in. And that is an observatory. It's got a giant satellite dish on the top. You see that green ring? I've chosen to land there. That's by the beacon where there's nav data. I'm going to nab the nav data just in case I ever need it to bring my ship to one of these locations. You know, never look a free thing in the mouth. Is that what the... No, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know why you wouldn't look in a horse's mouth. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, maybe it's a British thing. But it makes no sense, does it? It probably does. There's probably somebody that's going to be typing in the comments as I speak right now, saying, yeah, this is what it means, Captain of the Steers. And I'll be like, oh, wow, I've just learned something new. That's something I'm going to retain for a pub quiz. Right, here we go. Let's, um, let's uh, hit this up then. Nars' prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The logs read are ready for me to read. This observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by Gek specialists. Um, there's a Viking standing right there. A translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that this posting was ma in the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks. Aberrations. Data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. Interesting. The Get went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of the Korvac still on board. They never returned. I'm wondering whether this Gek was Apollo and I'm wondering whether the Korvax is Nada. That would be my guess. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Boom! Freaking on it! I, I have done this before, but it was long ago. Yeah. Is this how my friends found each other? Their signals on a console, a warning on repeat, 16 short bursts of data on a loop. 16, 16, 16. Extract coordinates! I extract the coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world! I thought we was going to a crashed freighter anyway, to be honest, people. They do like to put padding in, don't they? Here we go. Freighter, crash site, location. Hopefully this is going to be the last step, people. And then we can do the Atlas quest line, I guess. Anyway, there's a little Viking stand in there. You wasn't in the story, my mate. No. Ha. Huh. I wonder if you've been placed here under some sort of punishment. Perfect Diang. Uh, shall I talk to him? I'll talk to him because apparently they've put in new missions inside of here. The warrior's nostrils flare, blah de blah de blah. And no, they haven't given me, they haven't given me um, anything lovely. There you go. Have that then. Have some carbon. Sweet. And we learned nothing new. That was worth doing, wasn't it? Let's go then. Yeah, apparently there's new missions in here. I have not found any new missions as yet, people. And a lot of people inside my comments have said they have not found any of these new missions inside of the iteration. Hello, games. You've made them hard to come by. I would suggest maybe put them at at um, settlements with the NPCs at our settlements. At least, like, have, I know, three random ones generated per day at the settlements, making it worth having a settlement. I know that Nintendo Switch players are like, hold on, we don't have settlements. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, right, there we go. Let's fly up here. Uh, let's fly on down to this next marker. Oh, it's on the Lush World. Brilliant. Let's go. I'll see you at the crash site, people in the view of us. Watch. Well, chum, something weird has happened. I've come across a ship just a floating in space. Kazert, reject their lies. Follow us to freedom. It seems to be like the, the Hand of Freedom sort of mission. This ship is broadcasting the same message over and over on an endless loop. The message has a decaying over time, but there's still salvageable coordinates. Except the coordinates. Here we go. I shut down the receiver and import the coordinates into my Starship's navigational system. Okay, interesting. Abandoned vessel. 
In space? Seriously? I don't think this has happened before. And what do I how what do I do with this? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I blow it up? I guess not. I can't interact with it. There's no signal to have there. It's just floating around in space. I'm not sure I've ever witnessed that before. If I have, I scooted past it and don't remember it. Anyway, let's head down to this crash site. I'll see you there. Okay, chums, well, it's an approximate location. You know what that means. It means that I may or may not see it as I'm flying down. And if I don't see it as I'm flying down, I, 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 all I can say is, as you're flying down, just fly down slowly. Give it a little bit of time to render in. And hopefully you're going to spot it without having to gallivant around on the planet for ages. Now, I usually find where it was first situated is usually a good indication of the direction to fly in from. Well, I could be wrong. Okay, so here I go. We're flying in from down here. And are we going to be able to spoticate it? Okay, now you can see that a lot of the foliage is starting to spawn in. There's still quite a lot in my distance draw that hasn't spawned in. So me throwing into camera mode, I might see the freighter. I might not. I'm just giving it a little bit more time. As I just hover in place. Oh, cool. We've got we've got fauna that's actually spawning in now as well. So let's go into camera mode. And let's have a look on up into the air. Let's see if we can spot a giant crashed freighter using this sort of technique then, people. Okay. It's not behind me. It's not around me. And it's not directly underneath me. No, I'm not seeing any crashed freighters around here, people. And I've now fly gone as high as I can inside of this. Hold on. Is that? No, that's just a divot in the landscape. I thought that might have been the crash freighter for a second then. No, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to do a little scan and see if that brings up any sort of um, buildings around me. And it has any. It has not brought up any buildings around me. Okay, so there's no other giveaways. So I might just have to land and freaking walk there. I was really hoping to give you a generalised tip there in spotting things from the air. But as you can see, it hasn't quite worked out for me, has it? No. All right. Well, I'm just going to land around here then. I'm sort of taking a guess that maybe it's in this general direction. I'm going to jump on out and have a look to see how close we are or how far away we are. Oh my days, no wonder we couldn't spot it. It's like 1,000 U's, or 1,300 U's this way, the opposite direction from where our blinking came from. All right, I will see you when I get there, people. This is going to take a while. Okay, chums, well, there is no sort of save point here, so there's no point in trying to find yourself a nav data, but as you know, I nabbed myself a nav data, so now I can call my ship here. So lovely jubbly. Because this took me ages to get to, I'm not going to lie. And trying to get into it with the hitboxes on these blinking freighters is never fun. Anyway, let's go on over here and let's interact with this then. And hopefully this is the conclusion to this. Hull of whatever. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. Read log. Use an encryption key. Lovely jubbly. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive. But I must die as I lived. I record it all. Even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. They struck as one, an attack somehow coordinated across the unfathomable distances. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in the span of 54.2 standard minutes. Holy Fajanori! Only I remained. The Korvac stood with me in the end. To their credits, they concealed me within their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Holy fudge. So, hold on. 
The Sentinels wiped out every single living thing apart from one Gek and one Corvax. Holy moly. They're coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The Sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them that we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me. A thousand. A million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we have lived. We existed, no matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. Error. Unexpected log termination. Are we all in a simulation created by Nada then? You know, that's freaking weird. That's kind of troubling. That's kind of unnerving. Yes, unsettling feeling in my pit of my stomach. Transmit the freighter log to Null. Use the hollow terminus. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we're doing that then. Let's go to the hollow terminus. Hmm. And then Null is... No, it was Apollo that's finding his way to me, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's all getting rather dark. Rather sinister. Right, let's go this way then. And we're on our way to the hollow terminus, people in the view of us. At lightning speeds. I say lightning speeds. I mean, I mean, we're going at US, whatever that is. Units of whatever, I don't know. But anyway, let's head on down here then. Let's go to the old hollow terminus. I'm going to arrive in like 14 seconds according to this. But this is, again, approximate location. Now, I get why they've put an approximate location in the sweep scanner. is So you actually land on the planet and have to explore it a little. But, you know, once you've seen a couple of these planets on a set biome, you've kind of seen them all. And you know what? My technique of using camera mode just doesn't seem to work all that much on PC. It's been very hit and miss. So you know what? I might just land and then walk there. And I'll see you when I get there, people. Because, yeah, it seems to have been a little bit of a waste of time most of the time. Sometimes it works. Sometimes doing a scan for a building has brought up the hollow terminus. But as you can see here, not this time, people. No, that's uh, lucky. Maybe it's to do with the complexity of the planet and how it renders on my PC. But anyway, let's land here. I digress. I'll see you there. Okay, chums. Well, I've arrived located at the Hollow Terminus. Here we go. The tower has a powerful transmitter. Blah, blah, blah. Speak to Null. Let's do this then. Okay. Null, where are you? There you are. Hello there, mate. How's things? What did you find out there? Tell me everything. Share the discoveries. I tell none of the freighter and its recordings how it spoke of worlds where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveller and a single Corvax entity. I chose my words with care. You think I do not know who that the Corvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveller. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I've had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within the, our multiverse, dimensions where things happened differently. But there are three exceptions to this. Mind? The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Ask about the Atlas. The Atlas created all life. The Sentinels defended it, searching for the anomalies within that creation. That they annihilated an entire universe. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. I get asked what, what went wrong. It was the travellers who corrupt, corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but what made a, but we made a terrible mistake. I, I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, paradise was lost. Well, what did you do, Null? But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. 
Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with them. I will translate. And communication. I know all the Viking words. I don't overly need a translation. Right. Okay. Well, um, this is going on a little bit longer than I planned, people in the view of us. And if it goes on too long, you guys in the view of us will probably lose interest. So you know what? I think this is probably a very good point to end off. As hopefully we're going to get the conclusion to this freaking quest line. And then in the end, people, we might be able to go and do another one. Does that sound good? I think it sounds good. Anyway, you guys in the view of us, thank you very much for watching. And goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye for now. Heck yeah. Well, the jumps. So, this is going on a lot longer than I actually remembered. But you know what? There's some real snippets inside of this lore. I completely forgot that the Sentinels completely annihilated everyone apart from Nodder, Nada and Polo. No wonder they're taking refuge inside of the anomaly. And no wonder they're happy to see new traveller friends. Holy Fudge and Nori. So, you know, the creations of the Atlas, the Aerons, are capable of such destruction. But not only that, in recent lore, we find out that the Void Mother is actually pretty upset with the way that the Atlas treats their creations. It's a very interesting story, a conundrum. Perhaps aligning myself with the Atlantid on this save isn't a bad option when you look at it that way. I mean, that was mass genocide on a massive scale. Anyway, people, until next time, hopefully we're going to get the penultimate ending to this Artemis quest line, and then we can move on with the Atlas path and hopefully align ourselves with the Atlantid and the Void Mother on my PC save. Anyway, hope you're enjoying this, and if you are, hit a like, hit a subscribe, and if you've already done those things, share this video out on social media where you know there's people that play No Man's Sky. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.